party state of mind starts with gratitude. Now, if you're going to be thankful for something, it could be as simple as Friday has come, the weekend's arrived. It could be as simple as your birthday. These are times when people party. Of course, New Year's, other holidays. But if you're thankful for being alive in general, then you can party every day. You're in that party state of mind every day, 24-7, until you die. And then you can be, I guess, thankful for being dead and still party. But uh, I haven't been to that side of existence yet. The afterlife, I imagine, is probably the biggest party of all. I'm not looking forward to it, but I'm certainly not afraid of it. Pre-show ritual uh, is basically based on rituals. Now, uh, that means tender bites of meat, uh, maybe a small piece of cheese, uh, some bread and butter, uh, something to drink, uh, maybe a dash of milk. Um, but the most important ingredient is uh, to stretch out, to limber up, and to hop and shuffle. Now, I can show you just real quick here. It's gonna be, it's like a hop and a shuffle. And a hop and a shuffle. Now there's something about that movement that just gets me uh, pumped up, uh, gets me cheerful, gets me uh, very unfearful and uh, gets me ready to go and uh, make people party until they get a tearful or an earful of uh, good music. Well, the beautiful thing about playing uh, these concerts and, 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 and being a professional partier is that even when I don't feel like partying, I am. Even if I don't want to party, I end up doing it. And then I'm glad that I did. So even if I've been feeling relaxed or drowsy or tired or restful or bloated or sick or feverish or just downright depressed, the minute that music hits, the minute the party begins, it is time to party. My body comes back. It's, uh, it's almost like a miracle drug. And I'm trying to figure out a way to turn it into a pharmaceutical product. Uh, but for right now, it's just going to stay as an entertainment product. Party tip, try taking a shower while wearing sunglasses. It's a lot more intense than you'd expect. And uh, believe me, considering I'm wearing them right now, I just came from a shower and uh, it's like you're in a cave and there's cascading jets of warm liquid and you can't quite see what's going on. You're trying to wash your foot, you end up washing your hand. You can't tell your ass from your elbow. Uh, that's the fun part about it. And the darker the sunglasses, the better.